in the box! Hi, and welcome to Poptography. My name is Patrick, and today we have in our What's in the Box what we've been waiting for for a long, long time. So I ordered this from Ozzy's. I know exactly what it is. I know some other people have recently found them popping up at Walmart. And I believe Tony from Star Wars Sith was waiting from his to come from Ozzy's as well, delivering this week. So let's take a look, because I know what this is. So we finally got it, folks. We got the Darth Vader Battle Damaged, finally from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. What is it, number 637 in the series. Um, so very excited for this one. Um, let's get this bad boy open, uh, take a closer look, and let's compare it to the custom one that I made uh, almost a year ago, waiting for this guy to get released from Funko. Let's take a closer look. give that a 10 out of 10 but uh wow this uh vader funko pop i, I do like it i i am very excited for it um it's interesting because the head sculpt on this i know is very lightweight compared to the head that i use from the kenobi series actually um to build mine um i could just feel it's just such a lighter pop but great pose um you've got darth vader reaching out lightsaber drawn helmet cracked all the battle damage uh that looks phenomenal phenomenal so we're gonna get this on the turntable here so you can take a look at that now let's compare this to the vader that i have actually custom created so here's the one that i have Created. Now it doesn't have as much as a bobble from what I did. Uh, again, it was very heavy trying to support that head. Um, got it back on a spring and everything, but uh, very different. Very heavy, very thick. As you can see, I have mine cut in deep as just like this, same size. Um, but they did a, a few more little things I like on theirs. Um, I do like you get a little more of the detail here. Uh, in the mask damage there. Uh, I do like the pose. I like the pose even better. Um, I think that's great. But I, I must say, it's not too far off from what I did. Um, it looks kind of very similar in the sense that um, I use that Obi-Wan Kenobi Vader sculpt, which has a, a kind of reddish brown eye um, from that period, um, which is, I think it works. And it, again, did the same very similar thing the only thing i would say differently is um how much mine is recessed in um again cutting through the layers of the helmet on mine um kind of what i expected it to look like so I, i'm not bothered by what i did at all um i used the battle damaged uh vader that they had from years ago the blue box where he's unmasked to build that so kind of monster mash the obi-wan kenobi pop and that pop together to make this one but this one, I, I do like it. I think I'm still gonna get another one. Um, much like I think Ricky, the Pop the Bounty Collector we had on uh, movies that inspired the pop the other night. Um, I'm, I'd probably do another one, play with the purple and maybe turn that a little more reddish to purple, kind of play around with the tonal range of that. Uh, maybe a little more battle damage and stuff like I add it to the eye and stuff like that. Um, not quite sure what else. Definitely Sith Eye. I might I'd definitely give him more Sith Eyes in that with the yellow eye or something like that. But um, otherwise, I'm pretty impressed. So um, if you like this kind of content, please hit the like. Definitely hit the subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss another episode of Poptography. Until then, may the Force be with you.